everybody, Grid21 here, back with another video. And today I'm going to be creating, or that is to say, I'm actually going to be doing a series of videos um, basically talking about uh, how I do production. And this would include things like hardware, uh, what camera I use, what computer I use, and that's actually what I'm going to be talking about today, and what software I use, and maybe even in the software section I might talk about some of my settings that I use. So today we're going to talk about specifically my custom built computer, which I love using, it's great. Um, so the motherboard is an ASUS Z87 A motherboard. The processor is an Intel Core i7 3.6 GHz uh, CPU. The memory is Corsair Vengeance LP memory that I actually have 16 gigabytes of memory. And when I got the memory, it was actually uh, the stock clocks are clocked at uh, 1333 megahertz but I went into the UEFI BIOS and I actually overclocked it using XMP mode to 1600 megahertz um, and I actually kind of felt like that when I did overclock it it was uh, better in the sense that I had a little bit better of a performance increase and stuff things like loading my operating system loading games loading uh, software and stuff really just seemed a little bit better with the performance and things like that the graphics card is an EVGA NVIDIA GeForce GTX 760. Try saying that three times fast because I can't. Um, <laughs> the power supply is an X4 Ultra 750 watt power supply. I don't know if it's either 80 plus bronze or 80 plus gold. I can't remember exactly which one it is. It's one of the two. Um, and it's all housed inside a Corsair white full tower 760T case, which I freaking love to work on because it's just it's so easy to do stuff in here like I can just open well here I'll just show you really quick um, there's this little latch here and when I pull this latch I mean come on how cool is that and even like the whole like door hinge and everything comes off and man that's dusty I need to clean that okay um <laughs> that didn't happen um <laughs> so uh, and as for the fans, I'm just going to put uh, my fan specs in the bottom of either in the video or in the description below, one of the two, maybe both. Um, and you can see what all the fans and stuff that I have. I have at least seven uh, Corsair AF series LED fans, which I love having the case because just aesthetically, uh, first of all, it looks really cool. And because of like, you know, the whole computer is white, you know, majority of it and stuff like that, you know, white front and back and then blue top and bottom and stuff. It gives this sort of like this arctic feel, so I actually da um, named the computer the White Yeti, which, yes, I know, Yetis are white anyway, but I mean, come on, you have to, you know, it goes with it, right? So, um, that's the, the majority of my hardware and stuff like that. In front of the computer, I have two DVD burners that I actually don't use quite often and even having two I don't even end up using both of them at the same time but because I'm a freelance videographer and I do work outside of YouTube so for nonprofit organizations things like that uh, there's cases where they will have me make DVDs of videos that I've actually made for them and stuff and by having two uh, DVD burners I basically when I go into DVD architect I can actually like burn one disc I can take that out, burn another disc, take that out, so I can constantly be swapping uh, discs back and forth and burning essentially as many as, as required and stuff, so that kind of helps for, um, for production. Um, this computer was really made for, you know, real serious production and real serious video editing and things like that uh, because I used to have a computer where it would take me like three days to render just one hour of 1080p video, which is beyond ridiculous um, and that processor had like an Intel Core Duo or something like that in it so I, I was like nah I am so done with this I need I need real power here so with this computer it takes me about like mm, three hours to do like one hour of 1080p footage and I can actually do two 1080p videos at the same time and not have any loss of system performance at all which is great so that's really what I need um, 
when it comes to live streaming, this is also the computer I do a lot of my live streaming on and stuff, um, it really handles the a 256 encoding or whatever encoded, in, in OBS they call it um, X256 for the encoder, so uh, it really handles that encoding really well and also handles playing the video games at the same time really well, so while the CPU is doing the encoding, the GPU is handling the game and it really is a nice balanced performance and things like that. So. I can throw basically whatever I want at this computer, and it's almost like the computer's just like, I got this, you know, that real, let's, I, I can just take whatever you throw at me type of thing. So, um, that's basically my computer in the nutshell. I'm actually going to be doing uh, another video where I'll be talking about my camera specs, and actually I have to use a different camera to show off the camera that I'm using right now and stuff. And then my plan is then to talk about the software that I use on this computer so you can see how I make my videos and stuff like that. So, and I hope from um, you guys watching this video, you'll also learn a little bit about like, you know, what goes into making production and what goes into making videos and stuff like that. Um, I mean, you could essentially make a video on any computer, but it, it does kind of help to have that real power behind it, stuff like that. And I will also put a put links in the description to where you can get all the parts that I have. You can see the further spec details of my computer and stuff like that, so you can get a real full idea of what I've got going on in there. So. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you learned something. Please comment below if you have any questions or just general comments about video editing or any questions really to video editing or hardware or stuff like that. I love answering those and I don't mind answering those. So thanks for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe and I will catch you guys later in either the next video or um, hopefully within, you know, within a couple weeks time we'll have these videos uploaded for you guys to check out. So otherwise I will check you guys later.